Hey, what's up guys? This is Eddie over at Brownells. Today's video, we're going to be running through Mossberg, Crimson Trace, and Beretta. Got some cool stuff for you guys, so check it out. Hi everyone, Chad Sandstrom with Mossberg. Uh, in celebration of our 100th anniversary, uh, and to commemorate the Mossberg Brownie, which was our first firearm ever manufactured, we are proud to introduce the Mossberg MC1 SC. The Mossberg Carry One Subcompact is a 9mm ideal concealed carry firearm. I will uh, walk you through some of the features. Um, the product will ship with two magazines, a, an extended 7 round, and a 6 round flush fit magazine. These are our magazines. Uh, we call it the Clear Count Magazine. This magazine um, offers you the ability to see exactly what's in the mag magazine at a glance. It's very durable, self-lubricating polymer. Um, it's been very, uh, very good magazine for us to date. As far as the pistol, we have a stainless steel barrel and slide with a DLC coating. We uh, we have several. We have five different variants. This the, this standard core variant is going to have. Three dot low profile windage adjustable sights, which are SIG number eight compatible. Our slide has aggressive multi angle serrations for easy manipulation. One thing that we're very happy uh, to have in our design is what's called the safe takedown system, the STS safe takedown system. There's a little button in the back, you press in. Striker assembly comes out. There's no need to touch the trigger at all for disassembly. You release the slide and you take the barrel and the spring off from there. Reassembly is just the same in reverse. Lock the slide. Striker assembly goes in. And that's all there is to it. We have a glass filled polymer frame with an oversized trigger guard. Flat trigger comes standard on all models with an integrated blade safety. We have a slight palm swell added as well as aggressive grip texture. MSRP on our base model is 425. Our second model at the same price level will incorporate a cross bolt safety for those looking for an additional level of protection or safety on their firearm. So there's two different ways. Both of them are gonna incorporate the blade safety, tri uh, flat trigger with the blade safety, but this model also has a cross bolt. Uh, after that, we offer a, a, a True Glow Tritium Night Sights option, a Viridian E-Series Red Laser option, and uh, I currently have a Centennial One of a Thousand version. Another new product from us this year, um, is an al uh, alternate version of our Shockwave platform. This one we call the Shock and Saw. So we've offered the chainsaw grip in, a, in our cruisers before. Now we added it into our Shockwave platform. This one's going to have a chainsaw grip, an aluminum forend with an additional strap option that comes with the gun. So if you don't want the, the chainsaw grip, you can sure uh, use our standard strap. This uh, again is a five plus one with a, uh, the bird's head grip. Uh, brand new product from us this year uh, with an MSRP of 560. Uh, it's going to be another hot seller for us in the Shockwave platforms. Hey guys, this is Ryan with Crimson Trace. I just wanted to walk you through some of our new scopes that we have came out. Uh, we have 11 brand new rifle scopes. This is one of my favorites. It's the 3105. Um, our reticles on these are pretty amazing. We're calling it a disappearing reticle. So at one power you have your bright ring, put it on the target, pull, the, squeeze the trigger, and then as you dial that ring, because it's a first focal plane scope, will change and you bring up your milling tree. So for a long range shot, it's pretty amazing. That reticle is in the 3105 and the 30, uh, 5108. So one to five and one to eight scope have that amazing reticle. So the first one we're looking at here is the 3420. It's a four to 20 rifle scope and it has a pretty amazing reticle as well. So um, it is for holdovers. So you have a Horus style reticle. They're all custom designed reticles in-house. 
and come and visit us over here at the Crimson booth and I'll tell you some more. So the next one we're looking at here is the 2104. This has our custom BDC reticle in it. So holdover points 556223 five, are gonna be zero to 100 yards inside that bright red circle. And then you're gonna do bullet drops at two, three, and five. So now we're looking at the 3105. Um, so magnification on this, this is what we were just talking about. It's a one to five. So we have our crisp reticle with the bright red circle, pull the trigger, put it on the target, and as you increase, because it is a first focal plane scope, that milling tree will come into play. Hey guys, I'm Scott with Beretta. We're here at the Beretta booth at SHOT Show 2019, going over some of our new products. Um, this is our A300 Outlander Sporting in a reduced length. It's new for this year. It's going to be a great way for, for youth to get into the shooting sport at a price point of under $1,000. Um, last year we had the A300 Outlander and this year we're coming out with our youth model. Something else we have new coming out in 2019 is our A400 Extreme Plus with, with new camo patterns on it. This year it'll be available in the Optifade Marsh. This gun is the best waterfowl gun on the market. 14 inch forcing cone gives you the best patterning on the market. Five extendable chokes, raised rib, and oversized charging handle and, and bolt release. Um, so for all you Sitka fans out there, we've got you covered this year. So as far as pistols go for Beretta in 2019, um, here at SHOT, we're not releasing anything new per se. We will have the Flat Dark Earth available in both the Centurion and the Compact models. This is the full size model I have in my hands. The same color will be available in all three sizes. Um, and as for 2019 releases, we do have some new exciting stuff that will be coming out. We're expecting to uh, release our new product in July. So keep your eyes and your ears pe peeled for, uh, for what's coming out of Beretta because there's some exciting stuff. Appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out what we have. Uh, stay tuned, later on this week we're going to be launching off some more videos. Until next time, we'll see you guys.